might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my heart strings are... Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living. I hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, this is uh, Saturday afternoon. We normally record our Sunday chats on Saturday morning pretty early. But uh, Marie wasn't feeling that good this morning. And so I've been waiting to see if she would feel more like coming in here and doing the Sunday chat. And so far she hadn't felt like it. So it's late in the evening. It's almost 4 o'clock. So we decided I'd go ahead and just do it by myself and go ahead and get out of the way. Uh, it's been raining most of the day. Definitely been cloudy. Our temperatures have been down to as low as, uh, I think it was 67 earlier today. So it's been cool and uh, wet and damp all day long. Uh, the, um, I know everyone's wanting to know how Marie's doing. That's the main topic for today's video. She, um, we had a very busy week last week. We made two trips to the Marietta office down there at the pain center. And on the first trip, that was on Monday, and we just went down and we were hoping she would be able to get the injection uh, for her pain that day. But uh, all they did was ask a lot of questions and then they examined Marie and checked her to see where the pain was at and went over all of that. And so we had to go back again on Thursday. And then on Thursday, she did get the injection. It's called a, it's called a guided injection uh, for pain. And what they gave her was uh, steroids and lidocaine, if I remember and if I'm pronouncing that correctly. The uh, lidocaine is for the pain, uh, for the sciatic nerve pain and the steroid was for the uh, pain around the uh, uh, back disc that was bulging out. So the, sh the injection itself, Marie said that did not hurt. It was no problem. You know, everything went fine with that. And we left and we, we ended up going to uh, Chick-fil-A to eat. And Marie, uh, she had a wonderful uh, Chick-fil-A sandwich but she only ate about half of it. She just couldn't eat all of it. And that's been one of the problems. She just don't have a big appetite right now. But uh, so we got back home and that trip by itself, just one trip will wear you out completely. And we ended up making two trips last week. And so I think that's playing a big part of why Marie, uh, right now what's going on is most of that pain in her back and hip is pretty much gone right now. Today she's only had one Tylenol all day long and she has not complained about the pain uh, any at all except for one time she said there's just one little spot that felt like it was still bothering her and so that'll probably continue to go away also we're hoping. But the biggest problem is you remember uh, just a little over a week ago Marie was sick and uh, she had some type of virus and uh, we, I had to take her to the emergency room that night. Well, ever since she had that virus and she was dehydrated, she just has not got her energy back yet, and she's just real tired. And it, when you watched her on the two videos from last week where we made the trip to Marietta, you could tell she was really, uh, she was tired and she was wore out. And uh, she's been eating, but she's not eating as much as she should be eating. She's been drinking uh, plenty of liquids, and she does drink the uh, electrolyte drinks that helps to you know keep you hydrated. Uh, Marie has had to deal with dehydration ever since she had her surgery back in 2015. So it's a very uh, familiar problem for us. We know how to deal with it, 
and she's been doing everything she can to not be dehydrated again. And so far she's done good with that, but she just has not got her energy back yet. She's just still tired. And uh, like she said, she can't understand why she's still tired. So uh, I told her, I said, well, this coming week on Monday morning, I'm gonna call our primary care doctor and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set her up another appointment. We'll go in and let the primary care doctor talk to her and she may wanna run some other tests. Uh, I, you know, I, I got some ideas for what I would like for them to test and we'll see if we can get them to test her and see if they can determine why she's still so tired. Uh, of course now, you know, just like I said, making two trips to Marietta, that'll get you tired and it takes a little time to recover. I know because I had to do the same thing and those two trips wore me out. Another thing that could possibly be bothering Marie is she's really been worried about me. And uh, I had to go uh, a week before and take the CT scan. And then I had to go Friday of this week and they did the endoscopy where they run the light down in your uh, throat and take pictures. Now the doctor did tell me when he come out after doing the endoscopy, he did tell me that everything looked good. And the best part was he said, I didn't see any cancer anywhere, period. And so that made me feel good. And of course, when I told Marie that, that made, that made her happy to hear that. But what we're actually waiting on is this coming Wednesday, I'll be going to see the surgeon and he's the one that uh, he'll have the results from the CT scan and, uh, and then he'll also have the results from the endoscopy and we'll get his report this coming Thursday. Little hummingbird just landed right out here in front of me and I love watching those little hummingbirds but I'm by myself so I couldn't get the camera turned around there to get that hummingbird on there. Um, Okay, so let me get my thinking back on track here. So Marie's been really worried about me, and I think her being worried uh, caused her to have anxiety. And when you have anxiety, that can make you be tired and have problems also. So anyway, Marie's just got several things going on uh, right now at this time, and she just needs, what I told her is just continue to rest and take it easy and just take care of yourself and let's recover to the point that you can get back to what you used to be. Yesterday when I had to go uh, to have that test done for the endoscopy, we got one of our granddaughters to come down here and she came down and stayed with Marie while I was gone to get that test done. And so while she was here, uh, she completely cleaned the house up for Marie. And of course, now I've been trying to keep it clean, but uh, Marie Toder said, uh, the house needs to be swept and mopped real good. <laughs> and so uh, Holly is her name. And so Holly went through and from what I understand, she swept and mopped every room in the house and cleaned it up real good. I noticed quite a few things that uh, I knew where I had put it, but it had been moved and put back to where it should have been. And so Holly, thank you for doing that. You did a great job. And um, Nana, we call her Nana Marie. Uh, but Nana, appreciate you doing that for her, Holly. Okay, um, I think that pretty much covers, uh, you know, everything I need to tell you as far as updates on me and Marie both. This coming week's going to be pretty busy. Marie does have an appointment to go to the chiropractor, and um, and then I've got I've got several appointments this week. I have to go do blood work on Monday, and then on. Tuesday, Marie will be going to the chiropractor. And then on Wednesday, I go see the surgeon doctor in the morning. And then in the afternoon, I'll go and get my last immunotherapy treatment. And then on Thursday, Marie will go back to the chiropractor. So we got something to do every single day this coming week. So I'm hoping and praying that Marie will have enough energy to go with me, especially when I go to the surgeon because she, she's already told me she wants to be there and she wants to hear exactly what he says when uh, he gives us a report on how, you know, my CT scan turned out and everything. So this coming week will be pretty busy. If we do any videos, they will most likely be uh, throwback videos. 
Uh, we did three of the throwback videos last week, and y'all watched them, and we certainly do appreciate it. Let me turn my phone on here so I can sort of go over what they were. The um, Last week on the Monday, we did the cowboy soup, a uh, one-pot meal, and uh, that was from two years ago. And that was a really good uh, meal. I believe that Marie and I worked together. She did the red lobster biscuits, and I did the cowboy soup. But that was a very delicious meal. And so what we ended up doing on Monday, even though we didn't record it, I actually made us a soup very similar to that for Marie and I to have for our meal on uh, Monday night. Uh, then on Tuesday, we did the video where we made our first trip down to the Marietta Pain Center. And we also went by the Crumble Cookie Store. Now, Marie enjoyed going by the Crumble Cookie Store, and it just completely wore her out. I had to walk in there and uh, look around uh, and order the uh, cookies. And while I was waiting on the cookies, because it takes them a few minutes to make them and get them ready, uh, Marie did have to walk back to the car and sit down because she was too tired to stand up that long. And uh, But when I got back to the car and, and she got her cookie, she really enjoyed it, especially that key lime uh, pie cookie. That and, and I tried to taste it. That is one delicious cookie. Okay, so then on Wednesday, our video for Wednesday was the uh, oatmeal raisin cookies. And uh, those are, you know, that's a recipe that everybody knows how to make them already and been making them for years and years it's a real old recipe and they're so delicious uh if we had a batch of them made right this minute i'd probably go in there and eat two or three right now they're that good and then on thursday uh, our video was the trip back to marietta where marie got her injection and uh, i let everybody know that you know she she got the injection it didn't hurt that was the main thing and uh, and I, I can I can tell it's definitely working because her pain level is nowhere near what it was before we went down there. And like I said, she only had one Tylenol today, and she took that for a different reason. Okay, and then on Friday, the uh, last video we did this week was the uh, chicken rice soup, and that was a throwback video from two years ago, also, and I believe that video I believe I was one that made that chicken rice soup and uh, and so that's what Marie actually had for lunch today was some chicken and rice soup and so uh, we love that soup okay y'all that was Cynthia calling to check on her mama and uh, that's one good thing about our family we have a real close family Cynthia Marie and I we all talk constantly on the phone and we text back and forth and Lamar he's always checking on Marie to see how she's doing and Lamar actually came down and drove me to um, get my test done yesterday because you cannot go by yourself you have to have a driver uh, they won't do that test unless you got someone to drive you home and so uh, he drove me and while he drove me his daughter Holly come down here and stayed with Marie so that she wouldn't be by herself so we have a very close-knit family, and you know you can't be any more blessed than have good family and uh, good relationships with all your family members. Okay, I think that covered all the videos that we did last week. Now we did have the video last Sunday where we did the uh, update on Marie's uh, ER visit. I was letting everybody know about her having to go to the ER. And like I said, she was dehydrated then from having that virus earlier and she's definitely over the virus but for some reason she's just still tired and she hasn't got her strength back yet so uh, we're hoping and praying she'll start getting some strength back pretty soon and i know all of y'all pray for marie and if you will just continue to pray that she'll continue to improve and that things will get better for her i know y'all miss seeing her here on the video today and I miss having her sitting right here with me. I, I tell you, you just don't know how long it is. I sit here by yourself. But I can assure you, Marie is just, she's 20 feet away from me. She's in the living room, sitting in the recliner. And, um, and some of you may remember about, 
a few months ago, we bought a new living room uh, outfit. And so Marie got a new recliner that was a rocker recliner. And she just loved that recliner. But it's a little bit hard for her to use her arm and actually recline it. And so since she's been tired and weak and airplane for the last month, she's been having a rough time getting in and out of the recliner. So I went ahead and I bought her a new recliner. We got it just a couple of days ago. And I got her uh, one of the power recliners. So all you have to do is push the button and it'll recline. And then you push the other button and it'll raise you up and it'll actually stand you completely up if you need it. And so uh, we had talked about buying one of those recliners before, but we felt like we didn't need it at that point. And I told Marie then, I said, well, if we ever need it, we'll just get one when we need it. Well, we decide we need it. And so we've got one now. And so Marie's able to use that to get in and out of the recliner. This particular recliner is not quite as comfortable as the one that she had, her rocker recliner. But she's been sitting in it and she's been taking naps in it. And uh, she likes it because it's so much easier to get in and out of. And that's just, just a little something I thought I'd throw in there for you extra because y'all like to know what we got going on. And uh, let me tap my phone here. I accidentally touched it and it was fixing to start playing a video if I hadn't uh, cleared it off real quick. Okay, uh, everyone. And another thing I want to re remind people, of, it's been about a month ago that we had talked about doing a question and answer video. And we have not forgot about that video. We still have all the questions. We got them lined up and ready to go. But Marie just hadn't felt like doing that video yet. But as soon as she feels good enough one day, we're going to, uh, we've already talked about, it. we're going to sit outside in our rocking chairs and we're going to do that video sitting outside. And so, but I told her it's probably going to take uh, me and her together a good 30 minutes to an hour to record it and then I can edit it down and make it, you know, whatever length I need to. But uh, so she needs to be feeling good enough to sit out there for 30 minutes to an hour uh, at one time. Okay, uh, I guess that's about all I've got to talk about this week. Uh, we, we have been praying for everyone. We do get a lot of prayer requests and every time we get one, we add it to our prayer book. And we do pray for each and every one of you. And we pray every day for everyone that's in the prayer book. And we also appreciate every one of you praying for uh, me and Marie both. Uh, it means the world to us. And uh, on the comments, when you leave comments, we appreciate those more. Because the comments is what actually helps our channel. YouTube looks at how many comments you get. And the more comments you get, the more they'll show it to other people. And that helps uh, share the video so that more people see it. So I do appreciate all those comments. But now, when uh, I try my best to answer and reply to every single comment, but when I'm extremely busy, sometimes I just don't have time to go in there and reply to them. And if I don't, I'll just give the heart sign and do the hearts on them. So y'all just remember that in the coming days. If there's any time that you just get a heart, it's because I was busy that day. You can be assured that if I don't write you something back, it's because I'm busy. Okay, uh, that's all we've got for this week. So I'll go ahead and close this video out. And like Marie would say, uh, do what you love and love what you do. And we will see you on our next video. Bye. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here